1022 takedown rifle. It's fast becoming one of my favorite guns to shoot because, well, A, it's a lot of fun, B, it's very accurate, and C, you can pretty much shoot it all day without breaking the bank, and that's becoming more and more important these days, isn't it? The one complaint I have about it is the trigger. It's got a lot of creep, and it doesn't seem to be very consistent with regard to the pull weight, and that drives me crazy since my ARs all have Timney triggers in them. Which is why I went out and bought this Timney trigger for the Ruger 1022. And it offers several advantages over the original. First of all, it drops right in, and you're going to see in a second that it's very easy to install. It also is one piece, it's a one piece action of CNC 6061 T6 aircraft grade billet aluminum. It has an extended magazine release, which lets you uh, release the mag with just one finger. And it also has an auto bolt release. No finger gymnastics that typically trip up new users of uh, Ruger 1022s. And also, it, they advertise that it's a two and a half pound trigger with no creep. So we're going to test that first, though. I want to test the trigger pull on the original just so we can compare. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that we are not loaded. We are not. And I am going to take your basic trigger pull scale. And I'm going to do this a few times just so we can kind of get an average trigger pull. Uh, that one was five and a half pounds. That one was five and a half pounds again. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> and that was six and a half pounds. Interesting. All right, so let's install this. First thing we're going to do, pull the bolt back, take the barrel off, drop the magazine, and this comes apart with just one screw. It's a very easy rifle to take apart. Stock comes right off. Trigger group will pop right out with two pins right here. Oops, one, two. Trigger group is out. We're going to get, take the Timney trigger. Let's see what we got here. We have the trigger, a Timney sticker. I guess these are the instructions. Let go and let go. Okay, we're just going to slip this in where the old trigger was. Put in first pin. Put in second pin. Put it right back in the stock. And screw it back in. Bear with me when I get a better angle at this. I'm trying to do this so the camera can see it. Guess what? We're done. It's installed. Put that back together. Magazine release. One finger. Put that back in. And let's see here. <laughs> no creep whatsoever. Awesome. Wow. Let's measure the weight. See if it's a two and a half pounds they read. Two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. We'll do the other one three times. We'll do this one three times. 
two and a half pounds. Wow, this is awesome. I can't wait to shoot it. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy and effective shooting, everyone.